my brother, my sister, as you sit with your master on the mountain to understand the unique mandate that God has for you through the message that he's giving you in this season. May you understand through the Holy Spirit in a very practical way that what God is saying to you, not just to be set free by truth, but to have strategy from heaven for that what God's going to do, what He's really going to do in and through your life in the next season. We are looking at the Beatitudes where Jesus sat on the mountain and taught His disciples so many core principles. It starts with Beatitudes where God is saying how you need to understand how to be blessed and how to position yourself in His blessing and to stand, understand His heart for blessing you. We've seen that in Genesis even. When God created man, He blessed them and said, Go therefore, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it and reign over it. So, in more detail, explaining what blessing is all about, how to be happy, how to have satisfaction, and how God wants you to enjoy life to the full with Him. He gives us a lot of detail, and praise God for that. Even with verse 3, when He said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, we saw the principle of honesty and humility so that we can receive in our heart the authority from heaven. Then verse 4, when God said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. He didn't have the connection of moaning and groaning, not at all. But in that word we see, Blessed are those who come with brokenness and repentance who mourn has the context of I'm sorry for what happened, for I'm sorry for that what was wrong in my life. But it's from the basis, from the foundation of honesty and humility, verse 3, that we can build with first four, verse 4 to talk about brokenness and true repentance so that they will be comforted that comfort is not no that's to be so that they can receive healing restoration so that they can receive wholesome life that wholesome life healing and restoration is yours God wants to bless you with that but for that you need to come with brokenness and repentance may God help you to understand that may God help me to understand that so that our brokenness will protect us from a place where the world can break us into pieces where our lives can be destroyed no brokenness and repentance protect us against that but bring healing and wholesome life where there's beauty where there's beauty in brokenness and where repentance is not the foundation of shame, but a foundation of welcome home. Welcome home. We can repent because He loves us. Otherwise, there's no, there's no purpose in repentance. There's no depth in repentance. But may our repentance be because we are drawn unto Him and we want to get rid of all the other rubbish because we want to be drawn into the place where He is, where our hearts can be connected with His heart. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. May the comfort of the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, be there in your life as He works in you, as He works in you, the brokenness and repentance that is from heaven. God bless.